What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this another edition of Cub Reacts. Again, I want to send a massive shout out to all the new subscribers. It's great to see so many of you joining on to the channel as we jump into this one today. This one actually dropped a, a few weeks ago and I completely missed it. Um, I think it dropped over the Christmas period and I just spaced it. It went over my radar entirely. Um, but yeah, this one, Buju, the official Italy refix featuring Black Diamond. Now, I believe the uh, Italy original is actually Black Diamond's tune, uh, but Buju's kind of taken the lead on the remix as far as I'm aware, which I'm very excited to get into. Um, but yeah, if you are new to the channel, please make sure you are hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on, leaving a like, leaving a comment, all that good stuff. As I've said before, this is going to be a uh, kind of sonic analysis um, of the tune, so we're going to break down the production value, the kind of vocal performance, everything on a technical level, so hopefully you guys do enjoy. Without further ado, then let's jump right into this one. There's no actual video yet, it's literally just the uh, audio link um, up on Buju's YouTube channel. So yeah, let's get into it right about now. Let's go right from the start. Very shimmery kind of chords to kick us off. Woo! Okay. So right from the jump, I'm getting a very uplifting kind of feel from this one. Very kind of happy. All of the melodies are ascending. The arrangement is very lively. It's very bouncy. There's a lot of percussive energy running throughout the uh, center of the tune. Again, um... It, there's something quite interesting about this because obviously the original's done quite well. The original came out um, a few weeks ago, a couple of weeks prior to the remix, I believe, and that's sitting on nearly a mil. I did a little check earlier. Um, so it's a popular tune, and I can see why it's popular. It's very happy. It's very ascending. Um, again, all of the melodies are going up. It just puts a kind of warm feeling um, around you when you are listening through, and again, those sort of uh, a lot more kind of carnival-like um, rhythms are being used, which works really, really nicely. I'm loving the direction on this, man. It sounds great. <laughs> Like, how can you not smile listening to this, bro? So, vocal-wise, it's really interesting because you've got this really kind of widespread um, approach to the harmonies. Those vocals that are kind of stacked on top of each other. If you're listening in headphones like I am at the moment, you can hear them. They're just stacked the entire way across. And it gives it this kind of warmth, again, this extra depth of body um, that makes the vocals really stand out. It makes the vocals very difficult to kind of ignore. They're very prominent in the way the tune's been mixed. Um, and again, there's so much rhythmic energy on this one. The way everything's just kind of gliding over the top and not getting lost is really cool, man. Again, the, the actual production value is really strong. I don't actually think this is the highest quality version of the tune but even though you can hear that you can still hear um just how intricate the actual production value is which i always love to hear I don't understand as a human being how you can listen to this and not smile. Put it that way. For me, this is like the ultimate kind of feel-good sound. Those kind of uh, distant shakers giving it that constant bounce. It's impossible to sit t uh, still to. And then just the way the vocals are layered, it puts a smile on your face. Again, I'll say it again. It's an uplifting tune. It has a lot of kind of good energy fro uh, rotating around the way the melodies have been structured. Um, and again, just utilizing little kind of uh, skit riffs and like scatting riffs, sorry. Uh, but just throughout those, uh, those sort of bridge sections, just kind of like doing vocal melodies without actually saying any lyrics or any arrangements just ba, ba, da, 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 da. I can't sing but getting those little like clips in there again just gives it that extra kind of body and juice it's really nice man I'm, I'm very much enjoying this I'm annoyed at myself that I missed it this is what I'm talking about those little scatting riffs Again, constantly adding new layers of harmonic flavor to this one. There's new things coming in all the time. Again, we're 1 minute 20 in, and we haven't actually heard that much variation in the sort of lead of where the track's going, but new things are getting added onto it all the time. There's a, a much more kind of uplifting layer going on. There's a lot of kind of uh, extra shuffling going on in the drums as well. There's extra layers of percussion that are being worked through the arrangement, and there's more layers on the vocal now. It's growing and growing in, uh, in, in the way that it's put together. I love this. Um, and again, it just has this really uplifting kind of energy, which I've now said four times. Um, and I know you're going to say, you're repeating yourself. I'm repeating myself because I need to make the point. It just feels so good to listen to. <laughs> Okay. 
Let's go, bitch. So, for me, this is the first time hearing Budju on something like this, which is obviously a lot more organic in its arrangement. The majority of the time that I listen to Budju, I hear him on a lot more sort of electronic sounding instrumentals. They're a lot more based around um, digital um, in the way they've been put together. This obviously has a very kind of live feel to it because there's so much going on within the percussion. But I think he sounds great. I think he just does genuinely suit this type of instrumental quite well. He's very good at kind of adding that kind of uh, that energy and feel good factor to the vocals over the top of it. It just kind of amplifies that good feeling that you get off listening to the tune, especially when you hear the kind of unique tones that uh, we know Buju brings to, to, to his vocal performance. It's really cool, man. Again, I'm loving it. <laughs> Again, I love the harmonies that he always puts into tunes. It's something I've always liked about Budju ever since the first time I heard him, is his ability to kind of work in these very kind of... I suppose quite striking harmonies within his vocal lines. He always puts the the kind of harmonic structure when he when he overdubs himself. He puts them into interesting intervals. He puts them into kind of uh, progressions that you're not necessarily expecting, and it opens your ears up and it keeps you um, on the edge of your seat because it's exciting. You don't know where the tune's going to go. He's one of the few people who's as good at doing it as he is, if that makes sense. Like he's one of the best people at doing that and keeping the uh, listener guessing uh, where the vocal performance is going to go next. <laughs> So just a little note after listening through um, on the more sort of harmonic structure of the tune, just to be kind of exact, to kind of zone in on it. You've got very nice kind of organ um, keyboard chords just kind of floating throughout the background. They're the kind of prominent feature. You've got a little arpeggiator, which is which is just kind of going just very very slightly. It's just there. It's sort of floating around in rotation, which is working really nicely. Um, and then on top of that, when you then kind of factor in the uh, the extra vocals, the vocals are actually the thing that are kind of giving the tune the majority of its. Um, I suppose melodic direction. It's Budju's vocals that are really driving the tune forward. And for me, that's interesting, man. I like the fact that Budju's kind of taken such a lead um, in the direction of the tune. And obviously, the hook itself and the original elements of the tune from uh, Black Diamond are doing a big job on that as well. But it's cool what Budju's brought to the table. Even those little twist-ups we're getting in the vocal line, you know, he's just adding these extra kind of directions. And again, it's uh, very unique. This doesn't feel like it's a tune that took um, like years to put together. It definitely feels like it's sort of like a one-time studio thing that's worked out very nicely. But I think for me, um, again, it's, it's definitely not my favorite Budgie performance, but I definitely like the fact that we get to hear something different from him and get, him, get to hear him try some different things vocally. Um, and obviously over a different style of instrumental as well. It does work, man. What we're going to do, uh, we're going to let this one run out to the end of the tune and then we'll give our final breakdown there. So much going on within the percussion, man like five or six different lines. Well, there we go then. The sounds of Buju Italy. This one, the refix featuring Black Diamond. Again, apologies for being slightly slow on this one. Um, I don't think the tune's been advertised too heavily. I think this is one that's just kind of been put out there to kind of keep the, the tide flowing over for the Christmas period. But again, it's a good tune. Go and check out the original as well from Black Diamond. That one's on nearly a mil. Um, I think this is on about 150k. So not the most viewed tune. And I think, again, the fact there isn't a video is playing quite a big part in that. It's literally just this on the upload. But definitely enjoyed this one, man. Out to everyone who was suggesting it. Again, I completely spaced it and I'm happy we did get around to it again hearing um hearing uh but you do something a little bit different which is always enjoyable but there we go hopefully you guys did enjoy this technical analysis and musical breakdown if you did uh please make sure you're hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on leaving a like leaving a comment all that good stuff and we'll see you all next time enjoy the rest of your Sunday and peace oh, 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 so good right now
But the sun in a bright and cold. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now, Cobb Camp TV. Stay locked.